Chen Shang. Head coach. I believe 32 points in yeah. their win versus Suwon KT. Alec Brown followed suit. When you're having a bad game, you want them to react a certain way and to get continuity, or rather, no two free throws coming up. This one, that push. Any adjustment that San Miguel can make here? Individual defense, more effort on defense, really. Lou again. It's Perez on him. Still finds a way to score. My goodness, this. Oh. And Brown will enjoy this jam. Brown against Cruz. Oh, scary. Oops. And things Oops. getting heated up here. Oops. Brown and Cruz. Oops. Cruz got one in. And players need to be pulled back. Punches thrown. Yes. Tempers flaring. It has been a frustrating evening for the San Miguel Beerman. Alec Brown wisely walks away. Let's take a look at that last action if we can. San Miguel trying to. Now, now things have been pacified, but then not before. Oh. Oh, there were a couple of. I mean, there were couple of swipes a foul was called but then in comes Cruz that was Miller, in comes Miller. that was Miller first Miller gets pulled behind by uh, pulled back by Graham see that's the play where it happened Brown thought that felt that there was some intention in the swipes of of Cruz but this is really where that, that part of it is where it escalates. Yeah, and the referees will really take a, a good look at who came in with what. The coaches, as we were showing the referees, a good gesture from the head coaches of both teams, Coach Jurgis and Coach George, met at half court and shook hands. For your heads, Let's take the a look. Sports Arena still has a lot of seats uh, for you guys. Let's take a look at the numbers while waiting for the final decision. And so far, it has been uh, Graham, Lou, and Alec Brown accounting for a total of uh, 4, 5, 8, 68 points out of the 86 point output. That ties the scoring production of the entire San Miguel Beermen. While for the Beermen, good night for Miller with 23 points after a 7 point or 8 point performance. The first game for San Miguel here in the EASL. And I think the decision will be handed down shortly. So it's being said, and we see a signal for a disqualifying foul. A sportsmanlike foul on number 30, Quincy Miller. Disqualifying foul for number 39, Jericho Cruz. Jericho Cruz out of the playing court. All right, so the calls were. A foul on Jericho Cruz, a technical foul on Alec Brown, an unsportsmanlike foul on Quincy Miller, and then a disqualifying foul called on Jericho Cruz, which was for that last second punch that, that was sneaked in right before everyone was separated. That really costed him. Probably. We're expecting free throws on, on both ends. Belongs to the pilots, the visiting team. They have been dominant. Trolliano. Beautiful move. He's nine of the 15 fourth quarter points for the Beerman. Quan. Trolliano also playing wow. Stellar D, but ben here's Graham. You see? Perez saves it to the wrong man. Inside they go to Graham, who maneuvers his way around the Trolliano has been the hot hand for the Beerman here in the fourth. Miller with a tip. Now with 27, but Anusike just as eight. Look at that free throw line. You know, Coach Ronnie, we, we obviously saw Brilliant dancing with Brown. Wants to take oh, nice. the big man and go back to Miller. The three for Quincy. His head 
taken away. Trogliano being chased. Gets it to roll in. There's a chance that they matter, it matter. by the end of the group phase. It, and it will. But right now, the only thing that matters for the pilots is that they are 2 0 sharing group honors with the Hiroshima Dragonflies to lead the way for Group A, while San Miguel slides to 0 2.